What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 10 tutorial for you. So I've gotten a couple questions lately about how to make people walk upstairs in your animations inside of Lumion 10. So I thought I'd make a video explaining kind of the process that I've used for this in the past. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so to start off, we're gonna load the office example file. This has a good set of stairs on the inside that we can use as an example for what we're gonna do here. And then we're gonna talk about how to use the mass or the advanced animation tool in order to create an animation of someone walking up the stairs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna navigate to the inside of my building and I'm gonna add a person model at the base of the stairs. So I'm just gonna go to place mode. I'm gonna click on people and animals and we'll go ahead and we'll use this guy in the business suit. And I'm just gonna hold the R key and move my mouse to make sure he's pointed in the right direction. And then we'll go ahead and click. So now we've placed this person in here. You can see how this is an animated walking model, which is what we want. Well, now we wanna work on our animation. So to do that, we're gonna to go to movie. And so if you remember, when we go to movie, the first thing we wanna do is we want to record a new video. So we're gonna to go to record, and then we're gonna navigate in here. And for now, we'll set our camera view right here. We may adjust that a little bit later. And we're gonna go ahead and add a camera keyframe. And then we're gonna add a second camera keyframe, which is gonna give us an overall clip length of 4.42 seconds. And then we're gonna click on the checkbox. And so what we wanna do is within this camera clip right now, like if we click play, he's just standing there moving in place, which is not what we want. So what we wanna do is we wanna add an effect and we want it to be the animation effect. And in this case, we don't want it to be the move effect. We want it to be the advanced move effect. All right, and so at this point, we really have two options. We can either add an animation where he just walks to this point at the top of the stairs right here, or if we want him to turn around and keep going up the stairs, we could do an advanced move or an advanced animation. But for right now, the easiest way to do this is just to go to Add Effect and go to Move. And so when you go to Move, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set a base location or a start position, which is gonna be right here, and then you're gonna set his end position. So you're just gonna click and drag this, and we're just gonna set his end position right here. So, and we'll leave this right here, right at the edge of the stairs. So if you just want to animate him walking up the stairs and that's all, you can just do this. And I will know, I have no idea if this works in the older versions of Lumion. So if you have something before Lumion 9, I don't know if this works or not, to be honest with you. Um, but for this version, it's very simple. You can see how he walks right up the stairs. Now, I would be a little bit careful. I'm not aware of a way to make the steps sync with the steps here. So if you do create an animation like this, you do want to be careful that uh, you don't have him floating above the steps or taking steps that isn't on these steps. So my recommendation would be to set your camera angle in a way where you don't really see the feet. Um, that would be a much more advanced animation. But you can see how this is really easy to do. And you can see how there's a little bit of floating at the beginning. So what I might do is move him a little bit closer and then try it again. So at the very beginning, now those steps are a little bit closer. And I like this because the glass is kind of hiding his feet as well. And so the other way that you could do this, and we'd probably want to make our scene a little bit longer if we were going to do this, is you could edit your clip and make it longer. So you could go ahead and make this like a 10 second clip or something like that if you wanted to. So we're just going to type in 10 and click OK. So now our video is longer. And you can see how for right now, because his speed is set, he just walks up and down the stairs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a way to use the advanced move tool in order to get him to turn the corner. So to do that, we're gonna go to an effect. We're gonna go to advanced move. And what advanced move is gonna do is that's gonna allow us to set multiple different points. So you can see how I've got this timeline right now where I've got 10 or 11 seconds where he's gonna make his way up the stairs. Well, we're gonna say it's gonna take him about three seconds to get up the stairs here. So we're just going to move our camera to three seconds and we're gonna move him to right here. And then maybe like half a second later, we wanna change his heading. 
So we're gonna add a rotate heading and we're also going to adjust his location. So you can see how now what this is doing and we need to set our base point first. So we need to set this at the very beginning that he's at the bottom of the stairs. So we're gonna drag this back to zero seconds. We're gonna drag him back down to right here. So now he's on the ground right here. So if I hit play, he's gonna walk up the stairs and then at that point, he's gonna start turning and walking in this other direction. And so now we just need to add the completion of the turn, which in this situation, probably I'm gonna set it another half second. We're gonna rotate his heading. So that he's facing this way. We'll move him over here. And then we'll say it's gonna take him another three or four seconds to get up the stairs. So for the three or four seconds that it takes him to get up the stairs, you're gonna move him to the top of the stairs. And you can see how his rotation actually aligned with the stairs. So you don't even really need to worry about that. And then we're just gonna click the check. So now if we click play, you can see how he walks up the stairs, turns, turns again, and then walks back up, up the stairs again. So this is how you can set an animation of a person walking between multiple points using the advanced move tool. Um, even, up, uh, even up stairs or other vertical differences or things like that. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Um, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.